the Opportunity Crew is just one more aspect of why this city rocks. 13 Portland businesses contributed a total of $13,000 to keep the Opportunity Crew funded through the end of this season. Chris Carlton owns All Speed Cyclery and Snow on Marginal Way. He has a front row view of the panhandlers this program is trying to help. It seems like a lot of these people are kind of stuck, and if we can do something to help out and get them unstuck, you know, that's, that's great, I think. Since last spring, city officials say they've reached out to about 90 panhandlers. 24 have taken them up on the offer to do some cleanup and beautification work around Portland and be paid minimum wage for their work. Program manager Aaron Gear says he measures the program's success by more than just bags of trash collected or hours worked. We do things like help with documentation, um, identification. We help get folks connected to mainstream resources that are going to help them stabilize um, and reintegrate back into um, self-sufficiency and employment roles. Five clients found future employment last year, and while it's still easy to find people panhandling in Portland, supporters of the Opportunity Crew say that's not a sign that the program isn't working. I'm a firm believer that something is better than nothing, so we're, we're doing something and along with all these other great businesses too. We're told Portland was the fifth American city to start a program like this one. The first one started in New Mexico. And since last year, the program manager here says he's been contacted by officials from New York, Virginia, Kentucky, hoping to create their own programs. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.